My name is Zachary and I work at Thrustlight as a videographer in the marketing department. I've yet to go up into a plane for my first time. Today's the day I get to do that. What's special about my first plane ride versus most people's first plane ride is going to be that it's during the solar eclipse. A total solar eclipse is happening here in Texas today. And that part I'm pretty excited for. We need two, two more, I think. <laughs> Unless you want to put one on the chase airplane. Right, right. I, all I know is I want to make sure that I can get good shots of this plane in the air. I think it's covered for like 10 minutes. We want the other airplane to go out in front of us. Okay. Because it's going to be half the speed of this thing. Tell him the plan and then tell him to call me after you're done briefing him. We have a size of 24 gallons. That's a lot of gallons. Me flying today was sort of a last minute arrangement. So, I took the first ride I could catch, which is the back seat of this Cessna. I guess I should buckle up. So I have two missions going in the air today. I need to get a good shot of the solar eclipse, and then I have to get some good shots of Patrick and his game bird. We're gonna do some formation flying, and, and I have to get some good images of him. I have to make sure the CO looks good. Very excited. At this point, we are off the ground, we're in the air, and I'm just enjoying the ride. Before flying in the Cessna at this moment, I had only been on commercial airline planes. Now that we're in the air, I'm expecting Patrick to come flying in any moment now. Of course, his plane is a lot faster than ours. I'm just gonna stay put. I'll let you find me. I got you. Up on your uh, right hand side. Yep, he's got you. Can Zach talk? No, they didn't give him a headset and we were in a hurry, so we're just feeding him information with signals in the back. We're just keeping him posted. Does he look happy? Oh yeah, he's loving it back there. I'll come in a little closer. Alright, we'll do a roll. Um, I'm going to point away from you when I'm doing this, okay? Kind of like 30 degrees to your heading. 30 degrees right of the heading you're on right now. And I'll point the smoke on. Sounds like a plan. You ready to go upside down? Yep. So he just explained to me how we're going to have to go downward to pick up speed and then pull up really aggressively so we could point at the sun in order for me to get a shot of the eclipse. Needless to say, I'm a little nervous. scary, but I, I want to get the shot, so maybe one more time. Yeah, one more time, yeah. Yeah, yeah. As you can see in the window behind me, the plane really is tilting upward. And by the time it starts to lose a little bit of speed, that's when we level back out again. And like I said, that part's pretty intense on the stomach. So right here, I did not want to admit to him that um, I, once again, did not get the shot I needed. Maybe just one more time, I gotta put this on there. I can't see, that's why. Okay. It's because the sun was too bright, but that's why I brought this filter. 
One second. Is it over? Now at this point, my adrenaline's going a little bit. It's a little All difficult right. to screw this filter on. So it seems like this is my last chance to get the shot I need. I guess so. Yep. So this third attempt was definitely the most aggressive maneuver. We were pointing at the sun for longer, and I did get a shot of the eclipse, but it was very brief, and I knew that this was the best shot I was going to get. Yep. All right, cool. As best it gets on the camera, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Getting ready to land, and uh, so yeah, let's see how that goes. So the landing part had me just a little bit nervous. Maybe it's because my adrenaline was still flowing. Now let me be clear. It's not because I didn't believe in my pilots. It's just that this is a really small plane, and we're about to attempt to land on the ground. It's kind of like being in a go kart in the air. What, do crazy? <laughs> see how, we'll see how I feel when I stand on the ground. That looks you said first man. height, F, first flight ever. First, right. I almost forgot about the eclipse. <laughs> yeah, we'll see what that looks like. That was the best we were gonna get. Yeah. Freaking dead center in the... So guys, we, we definitely were trying to get a shot of the total eclipse. So, my name is Dylan, uh, assistant chief here at Thrust Flight. So the only way we were able to get really any pictures today was to do basically a high performance climb. I just added some airspeed and then came up up to about 30, 35 degrees nose up and then let him do his job, get as best we could <laughs> up there and made yeah. it work. We got a lot of good shots of uh, Patrick's game bird, but it was fun, so I appreciate you taking me no on my problem. first flight. Yeah, definitely, man. Sorry, I'll my hands are full. There. Yeah, no problem. Uh, so here's the best shot I was able to get. Right there. Yep. Yeah, it was a little bit difficult. You can only maintain that angle in a Cessna for so long. Uh, not to mention it was kind of scary to me. And after the third time trying it, this, that being the shot I got, I knew that that was the best I was gonna get. My first plane ride was awesome. I, I didn't really know what to expect, but the fact that I got to do it during the solar eclipse, even though I didn't get to see the eclipse itself, the way the sky looked up there and seeing Patrick do his maneuvers and his plane, I mean, it was a pretty unforgettable experience. It's kind of something magical knowing that you can fly. We have machines for that, and I think that's really cool. I will admit, I got a little queasy. It took a couple hours for me to really feel like steady again. Thank you to my pilot. Thank you to, to Thrustlight for taking me into the air for the first time. It was a great experience. I hope more people get to take their first plane ride here over at Thrustlight and take maybe what we call a discovery flight. I recommend it to anyone who's curious about it.